these are the few things I would recommend for young people to consider, especially young girls. As a scientist, you're entering a male heavy territory. So being able to have a little bit of thick skin might help because you hear comments here and there, some of them derogatory. Number two, working hard is extremely important to being a scientist and surviving in the science world. But it's not just working hard, it's also doing the hard stuff. Being able to do the hard stuff has actually defined my career. So I don't go for the easy stuff, I feel someone else is already doing it, so I go and do the hard stuff. And last, being able to do what you like a lot. It helps when times become tough for you to stay the course. Do stuff that you like. And probably last, 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 try not to be emotional at work, be professional, because a lot of people will be expecting to be emotional. So surprise them. Don't be emotional. I've been working in the development space, which is the space where politics or policy meets science. So there are many scientists out there that are women but are not necessarily visible because again there has to be policies that allow them to be visible they have to be leaders of institutions like universities they have to be um, leaders of other public institutions or they have to be ministers like i was to be able to have that visibility but most scientists and women scientists at that at that are really in labs trying to get work done and getting papers written just like scientists do so unless there are really strong programs that are put in place to prop and bring these scientists out, especially the female scientists, it may not be easy. But scientists also, the women scientists, have an opportunity now to use social media, to use other places to profile themselves. That said, there are so many scientists now that I would like to talk about. For example, my friend Segnet at ICPE, she's the director general of ICPE, she's done an amazing job. Then there's Ismahen, who has just become uh, chief scientist at FAO. Then there's Catherine Nakarema, who just uh, got the Africa Food Prize Award last year. And then, for example, the minister of ICT in Rwanda, Paula, uh, you know, is an amazing young woman that is a scientist that you know, went into those uncharted waters and doing an amazing job. The scope of science has expanded enough to allow young scientists to be able to do, uh, and especially young women scientists, to define themselves. The opportunities are there, but the policies must work as well.